In October of 2018, a gray, spider-like silhouetted vessel crossed the waters from California to Hawaii in a seemingly ordinary trip. However, the Sea Hunter Autonomous Unmanned Surface Vehicle is anything but. Thanks to groundbreaking technology ten years in the making, the U.S. Navy's vessel can traverse the oceans for months at a time without the interference of a single crew member. The revolutionary vessel is part of the Navy's plan for the future of sea warfare, as Sea Hunter's possibilities are endless. Still, at least one competing nation is already building its own copycat version, so the clock is ticking down fast. An autonomous ship. In early spring of 2016, the United States military unveiled and christened their latest experimental warship, Sea Hunter, an autonomous vessel capable of operating for months without a single crew member. The ship is part of the Anti Submarine Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel Program, or ACTIVE, developed under the Navy's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency as far back as 2010. Built by engineering company Lados, Sea Hunter is a 132-foot vessel unmanned trimaran made with carbon composites and powered by diesel engines. With a sleek, spider-like silhouette, a narrow hull, and two outriggers, the Sea Hunter is a prototype of what could become a new class of warships for the U.S. Navy that relies on artificial intelligence instead of a crew or any human interaction, not even by remote control. To achieve this, the ship is equipped with navigation and piloting sensors, electro-optic systems, and a long and short-range radar capable of tracking diesel submarines at extreme depths for months at a time. The vessel also has an international ship tracking program known as the Automatic Identification System. According to program manager Scott Littlefield, the unarmed ship's satellite-based autonomy was the most important and the most complex technical challenge, stating, quote, you really don't want that to be a remote-controlled vessel. You want it to be fairly autonomous, so that it can do things like obstacle avoidance on its own without being joysticked around by a person. Active Technology The technology in the Active is aimed to improve the ability to detect and engage with diesel-electric submarines, a quieter and cheaper alternative to nuclear-powered ones, as well as to negate the threat of enemy ships building large numbers. When operational, the active will keep constant communication with other ships and aircraft through a satellite link. If they are not deemed an immediate threat, the active will still be able to shadow a potentially dangerous submarine in order to deter it from acting aggressively, potentially even forcing it back to its home port. The vessels will be unarmed, but if an enemy submarine is detected, they will immediately notify other armed naval assets to pursue it. Afterward, they will report back on the situation and their condition while their computers continue to identify other ships and try to anticipate what they will do next. This way, the actives will offer anti-submarine tactics all at one-tenth of the cost of a standard staff diesel submarine. And while the unarmed ship was initially conceived as solely a submarine hunter, several military planners claim that the vessel's development has evolved into a flexible platform as the modular design can be refitted for other roles, including intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance missions. The Vessel of the Future Two decades ago, United States aircraft carriers were the most unstoppable force in the oceans. However, America's naval power is currently being challenged by China's navy, particularly in the South China Sea, as the nation has been investing heavily in modern submarines. To maintain America's naval superiority over possible opponents like China and Russia, the Pentagon developed a so-called third offset strategy, which includes the active program. The prototype's development fits such interests and the U.S. military's latest economic and technological focus in developing uncrewed vehicles and drones. As an uncrewed vessel, Sea Hunter will cost $20,000 per day to operate, in contrast with the average cost of a guided missile destroyer with anti-submarine warfare features, which runs at about $700,000 per day. As a new facet of naval surface warfare, 
the United States Navy could now trade a small number of capable yet high-cost assets for large numbers of unmanned platforms at a fraction of the cost. According to Fred Kennedy, director of DARPA's Tactical Technology Office, this project has been a long time coming. Quote, the U.S. military has talked about the strategic importance of replacing king and queen pieces on the maritime chessboard with lots of pawns, and active is a first step toward doing exactly that. Testing period. The April 2016 commissioning ceremony marked Sea Hunter's official transition from a DARPA led research and construction project to an open water test phase performed in conjunction with the U.S. Navy's Office of Naval Research, or ONR. During the summer, the vessel was submitted to a trial in which the Sea Hunter successfully executed a multi waypoint mission without a person directing course or speed change. The vessel completed several performance tests, either meeting or surpassing performance objectives ranging from speed, maneuverability, stability, sea keeping, acceleration, deceleration, fuel consumption, and mechanical systems reliability in the open ocean. The initial sensor data was analyzed by LADOS to ensure the Sea Hunter's proficiency, as well as to find any errors or needed adjustments. In the fall of 2016, the prototype vessel departed from San Diego, California to begin a two-year trial period of at-sea operational tests led by DARPA and ONR, with the objective to study Sea Hunter's features, including the sensors and autonomy suite. A portion of the trials also consisted of proof-of-concept demonstrations to test the vessel's flexibility while switching amongst modular payloads. Between February and September of 2017, Sea Hunter successfully completed three progressively challenging tests involving the installed suites and features to use them in operationally realistic scenarios that comply with the international regulations for preventing collisions at sea. The Future DARPA's Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessels two-year testing program came to an end when the organization handed over the Sea Hunter prototype to the Office of Naval Research in early 2018. Sea Hunter's latest known feat occurred late that year, when the prototype became the first unmanned vessel to ever successfully navigate back and forth from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, without a single crew member on board. However, the achievement was not made public until a January 31st, 2019 press release by Lados. In the document, both Lados and the Navy stated that during the 5,157-mile trip, personnel aboard an escort ship periodically boarded Sea Hunter to check the electrical and propulsion systems without intervention. Lados Defense Group President Jerry Pisano believes that the Sea Hunter program is unlike any other in the world, and the United States is the leading force in unmanned, fully autonomous naval ship design and production. According to Pisano, quote, the recent long-range mission is the first of its kind and demonstrates to the U.S. Navy that autonomy technology is ready to move from the developmental and experimental stages to advanced mission testing. Since then, the ONR has continued developing the revolutionary vessel, which is expected to become the first of a new class of unmanned vessels, able to traverse thousands of miles without human interaction. In addition, the project was renamed the Medium Displacement Unmanned Surface Vehicle. Alexander Wallan, a program manager at the agency's Technical Technology Office, has claimed that Sea Hunter's transfer from DARPA to ONR was a significant milestone in the Navy's large-scale USV technology and autonomy capabilities. As to whether other nations believe in the potential of this powerful vessel, footage taken in China in 2020 seems to confirm that the nation is building a set of their own active vehicles with almost the exact same characteristics, proving that we have only seen the beginning. Thank you for watching our Dark Tech video. If you liked it, please give us a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.